Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 Tech Guy, with a tutorial to show you how you can remove the background from a picture using PowerPoint 2010 or PowerPoint 2013. Now this is a really neat little technique that you can use and, and I think it's really a lot of fun and once you uh, come to realize just how simple it is you might find yourself uh, just playing around with tons of different pictures and, and removing the backgrounds out of it um, because you can really make some neat uh, presentation slides and uh, create some real cool effects using this technique. So let's get started in showing you how to remove the background from a picture. Well first of all we need to get ourselves a picture. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swing out to office.com and find some of their clip art. So the first thing I need to do is go to the insert tab, we'll click on that, and then we're going to choose clip art. Now again, you, if you've got a picture already, you can bring that in by clicking on picture. Um, when I click on that, my little panel opens up on the side and I'm going to choose find more at office.com and I'm choosing this location because they've really got some nice uh, stock photos out here. Um, so let's just find something with uh, here with some people in it. We'll click on people and we can kind of browse through the list here and find something. Um, how about this one? It's got technology in it. Uh, they're holding the laptop there. That's kind of nice. So we'll click on download. We'll save that. I'll grab that quick. We'll go ahead and go to that folder. Uh, there it is. We'll just go ahead and copy that and we'll close out these other windows here. And then we'll go ahead and paste that in here. Now we've got a mighty big picture here so we'll size that down so it is something that will actually fit on our slide. There we go. Alright, so how are we going to go about starting to remove the background? You see we've got uh, a gal here and we've got a guy here and they're holding this laptop. So suppose we want to get rid of all this coloring in the background and you know what, let's get rid of the dude and just have a gal holding a laptop in our picture. So what I'm going to do is with the picture selected we want to get onto the picture tools format tab and we see that our ribbon changes and over on the far left um, there's an option here to remove the background so I'm going to click on that and you'll see what happens here is the the picture has a large portion of it that turns this pink color and we've got some new uh, handles here I'm going to go ahead and stretch these handles out all the way to the full size of the picture so that it uses the entire picture to try to remove the background from. And the, the pink part here represents the area that PowerPoint is looking at as being the background and this is what it's going to remove. And so you can see it actually does a pretty good job of finding you know what's in the background and attempting to move that out. But this doesn't exactly represent the total amount that we want to remove. We want to get rid of the dude here too. So up here in the corner you'll see there's a few uh, buttons. We've got mark areas to keep, we've got mark areas to remove, and so what I want to do is continue to remove some things from the picture, mainly the, the dude here. So I'm going to click on mark areas to remove, and then what I get is this little pencil icon. See that? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines across the spaces that I want to remove. So I'll just draw, I'll click and drag a little line across his chest there and you see it it uh, tries to interpret what I've marked and, and removes more of that. And you may find yourself putting in several lines here to try to make some of those edits for the things that you want to get rid of. And just by adding those few lines there, uh, we did quite a bit extra. And what I'm going to do to try to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so I can be a little more precise. That went a little too far there. See, we got some of the fingers in that here. We'll draw a line on his thumb there. Another little piece right there. That gets rid of that. Oh, there's a little piece right there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now there, that's not too bad. Now if I zoom back out again, we see for the most part we're pretty close. 
Now, there's some other pieces here that are pinked out that I want to make sure that we keep. So I'm going to switch over to mark areas to keep and then draw a line on her skirt here. So we see that opens that up. And you'll notice as you do this, it, you know, it's not a perfect uh, science or anything here. Um, but you see, as I mark the skirt, that parts of the laptop turn pink. So you have to kind of go in and make sure that everything is the way you want it. So I'm going to zoom back in again just to try to get a little better sense of what we want to keep here. So we see there's the edge of the laptop. I'm going to draw a line along the edge of the laptop here so it knows to keep that. And there's a piece of her hand that got caught up in all this so we're going to draw a line across there work on keeping the hand. We'll zoom up a bit and this side of her shirt, we want to keep that. And we're going to mark areas to remove because there's a piece of the dude's shirt that got caught. See how it kind of works on filling that in? Let's zoom back out and see where we're at. There. Now that's actually not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at, um, we'll, we'll choose Keep Changes. And that'll get rid of everything that we had marked and actually that's not too bad we see there's a little bit of uh, space missing where the guy's fingers was at but that's okay because you know what we can place that picture uh, in a certain way um, so that it, it looks like uh, you know we didn't actually have that in place uh, for example we could move it so just that part of the fingers or the laptop was just off the edge of the stage and line her up at the bottom of the stage and then when you are in full presentation mode, you would not even realize that that, that part was uh, there. It would just look like this here. So you know now we can go ahead and do some other different things here. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, insert a rectangle here, make it the same size as our stage. And we can give this a little bit different color. We'll format that and let's give this uh, kind of a grayish color that one's not too bad you know make it a little transparent there 28 percent good enough and the line let's say we don't want a line to show around the border now you can see we we made that transparent so she shows through but she's kind of dark so it kind of makes her in the background so let's move this little rectangle to the back and click on format click send backwards and now she kind of highlights up and becomes the main focus in the presentation for that particular slide so at any rate you, you see how removing the background can create a whole new idea for your presentation and it's really a neat trick it's really simple uh, you can see it didn't really take long to do um, to put that together so and it's kind of fun to go in and, and take different pieces out of the pictures and you, know, you can create your own memes and that sort of thing as well so hopefully you found this little technique helpful uh, I know it's something that I found helpful and uh, make some good use out of that I'd be interested to see some of the things that you come up with well thanks much and have an awesome day we'll see you next time